Okay, we have four bags in total and a sticker sheet. The ones with the matte thing. The decal sticker sheet. That's about it. Including the poly caps. Three bags in total. Uh, 12 runners. And yeah, <laughs> I'm really excited to build this kit. I've been really waiting for a long time to build the Zaku Origin. Solely because when I first saw that sniper rifle. Holy sh Yeah. <laughs> I... I can't wait. Oh, oh man. Fallen in peace. Doesn't look like it's badly damaged. So yeah, I'll go ahead and build the kit and I'll review it when I'm done. See ya. Okay, slight disclaimer before actually reviewing the Zaku. There were some errors that happened. Basically what happened is I think the memory got full and the time lapse of the build process got corrupted and it was very unusable. There was just a small portion of it that played but yeah, the rest, nah, nah, you can't use the rest anymore. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to segue this. So let's get right onto the review. First of all, so the Zaku. Everybody knows the Zaku. If you're watching this video, you know what the Zaku is. They're basically the very first baddies of the Gundam series, the most iconic ones. And very cool looking still, even though they were designed way, way back then. Even, even the granddaddy Gundam still looks so cool. Aged very well, to be honest. This is the origin version. It has way more details, more panel lines, more weaponries. Classic Zaku's didn't have the sniper, didn't really have extra ammunition, didn't have ammunition like this at all. It was just a tube of a bazooka. So yeah, also it didn't have Vulcans right, right here. The origin version of the Zaku's has way more details, way more weaponries. That's basically it. That's basically the only difference. They have way more detail and way more weaponries and onboard weaponries. Oh, and also their heat sabers weren't purple, unlike the original series as well. Mm -hmm. There are also other design choices like the colors on the feet and stuff, but you can convert those with the extra parts. But I'll be talking about that later. First, let's talk about the articulation. Gotta get these off first. Yeah. Ah. Grab and okay, it's all done. Oh, sh okay, now it's all done. So yeah, let's talk about the head. It goes up that far, which is. Pretty nice down. I could have wanted a bit, a bit further, but it's it's good. It's good enough. The one eye can be turned easily. There, there we go. Using this, you can use this or anything, any sharp things. The hand, well, the shoulder joint can move up that far. Just there we go. Move forward that far. Which is, oh wow, that's pretty forward. There's a butterfly joint right here that collapses the chest, which is really cool. Elbows are double jointed, as well as a swivel on the upper bicep. Ball jointed hands. This shield part is connected via ball joint and it can swivel that far. And that back. This this shoulder piece is connected independ independently which can move up the way and there we go as well also it has this missile launcher here which is ah, freaking focus here the missile launcher here mounted on the arm you can take that off and just replace it 
so you could have the normal arm but I'd want it that the waist joint well the ab crunch can go that far that far and that back that far back as well it has unhindered swivel on the waist the legs can move back that far since it's, it has a paradise butt flap can move forward that far every armor goes out of the way very nicely and pretty much do the splits if you are careful with the armor on the sides just leave it out for now now for the leg itself this is an amazing leg to be honest it has an inner detail that which I am surprised it even has the whole leg basically has an inner frame for some reason and it's so good it's so good to build anyways there's a swivel right here unhindered but anyway there's two joints there's two joints and separates the knee armor very nicely this is a premium leg now the toe joint the feet can move up that far forward that far I mean and there's still more because it separates right here I don't know man you could convince me this is a real grade for some reason the features of it are cool you can move back that far not that much side to side good enough yeah that's good enough oh yeah and I forgot and also the hips move side to side quite a bit to be honest and this the part where the bazooka, bazooka is held can swivel that's pretty much all of its articulation and let's move on to, to its accessories which are the bazooka has movable handles which all bazooka should have and the most badass basically one of the main reasons I bought this the sniper rifle yeah it's awesome two extra cartridges for the bazooka as well deactivated heat hawk of course we have the activated variant we don't really have an orange piece for here at least the sticker but that's okay and surprise surprise more accessories a belt fed machine gun it basically just attaches to the backpack like so and gets held in the hand here it's gonna be more stable if it's held like this since this is a part of the handle the whole belt is of soft plastic so I think it can wield it without problem yeah and that's for its weaponries for extra parts we have a variant of the shoulders many variants of the chest armor basically for converting into the c5 no c6 no 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 r6 variant of the zaku and alternate toe armor alternate chest armor as well and alternate headpiece even alternate backpack and the hose attachment parts and the arm covers I'm so sorry if it's all very basically all the armor pieces are for converting the Zaku into the R6 variant and a more classic looking Zaku variant as you see in the screen which are very awesome for this kit the price right now I think I saw this kit at around 800 pesos which is just under $30 it's very cheap for the amount of plastic we have here yeah it's freaking worth it it's freaking awesome that's pretty much it for the zaku this has been a really really awesome kit 
so much stuff you can use the sniper rifles the bazookas the machine guns it's so overwhelming how much you can use this kit for it's this it's the zaku it's a badass design with badass weaponries more badass weaponries i meant yeah <laughs> i'm really just in love with this kit i've been wanting it for so long and i got it it's so freaking awesome so yeah that's that's it for this review thank you guys for watching and see you guys later also highly recommend this kit you should buy one of these if you haven't have any mono eye gundams oh mono eye mobile suits i mean if you have some buy it it's awesome it's awesome yeah okay see you guys later